This podcast is proud to be part of the TalkSport Fan Network. TalkSport. Powered by fans. And there it is. That's as good as it gets on this stage. Nissan Townstar EV strikes again. It's an unstoppable van. Unstoppable. Look, just fantastic. You can actually see the Pro Pilot technology in action. Effortless parallel parking. It moves with all the confidence that comes with a five-year warranty. And with a bench full of all-star van experts, there's real strength in depth here. That's all-star quality. Search Nissan Townstar EV and visit your local all-star van centre to see for yourself. Terms and conditions apply. Five years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. ProPilot is an advanced driver assist technology. Driver's responsibility to stay alert, drive safely, and control vehicle at all times. The TalkSport Fan Network is proudly supported by McDelivery, bringing you the food you love. McDelivery brings a top tier line of food right to your door. No matter the result, you'll always be winning with McDelivery. So, the only thing left to say is, you in? Order now on the McDonald's app, and you can also get rewards points delivered too, so that ordering today means some tasty rewards for tomorrow. Only via app at participating restaurants, 18+. plus. Rewards registration required. Points only on menu items. Delivery fee and terms apply. See mcdonalds.com. <laughs> to Smallwood as Walsall defend Walker right corner of the box hangs up towards the back post oh, Andy oh, Cook oh, with the header Andy Cook scoring for Bradford looking for Matty Platt also Andy Cook and there again it's worked Jamie Walker this time during his youth and he's on the ball now Bobby Poynton lifting it towards Andy Cook header straight into a Walsall player but it comes out to Jamie Walker right wherever you are in the world good morning good afternoon good evening good night and welcome the Barrow vs Bradford City preview live on X, YouTube, Facebook and other social sites. On today's podcast, we'll be talking about the Walsall game, pretty much in the Bradford, uh, the Barrow game. Latest Bradford City news, the weather forecast and what's on your plate. So I should be joined by Georgia, Diane and Lee. Hey up. Hello. How do? <laughs> and hopefully this is technical issue free because this is actually on the app. This is actually on Twitter on my PC for once, so I'm not using any other app. Uh, it kicked me off about two minutes ago when I tried it with Georgia. Oh. So let's start this off, shall we? Walsall game, guys and girls. What are your thoughts? And we'll start with this Georgia, and we'll work our way across. It started off shocking, um, but the get after them first two that Walsall put in, we clearly picked it up. And trust me, as you could tell, I was a nervous wreck. I think we all were. <laughs> yeah, uh, Diane. Sorry, I was just messaging. Um, we were crapping first half, and I'll admit it was Sam's fault for the second goal. You know, I don't normally admit about my man, but I'll admit that. You know me. Um, then, once we got the first goal, it was good. Then we got the second, and you know what happened. Everybody was going mental. The, the third goal we got from Jamie it was brilliant. But then again, when Jamie got sent off, I know I've been having to go to Smallwood, but I thought he and the team then started up 110% just to try to keep it out, and then when Sam did that super save in the last few minutes, that were it. You knew we were going to win it. Yeah. And Lee, you watched it on iPhone? I did, and I got a better view than most people probably. But the goal, the second goal of theirs, he got lucky big time. It wasn't Sam's fault. It was a combination of him and Oye Goki. Oki Goki and Sam. So they got confused, yeah. It, 
it wasn't Sam's fault. It really wasn't. It was just one of them things. He got very lucky. He should never have been allowed to get up there. Yeah. Just shunt. So, Shocking defending. The whole defence let him down, so blame them all. But, like everybody else, I thought, first 20 minutes, have we even got off at bus? And then we started playing, and we settled down, and we got our second wind, if you want to put it that way. And I just thought, we're not going to lose this. I had every confidence we'd come back and when. It wasn't long before Cook scored. And yeah. I thought, yeah, we, we've got a chance now. We've got a, a, a puncher's chance we could get in here. And then we scored again. Went in at half time two apiece. And I don't think we were in any danger from there on in. I don't think they, I think their heads went. So before we go to Miss Callie, uh, we've had Dylan on YouTube. Smallwood played brilliantly. Massive improvement, set pieces last two games. Good, good afternoon, Miss Kelly. Afternoon, everybody. I've just got up, so bear with me. <laughs> Evening. Someone's on night shift. Yep. <laughs> so, Miss Kelly, what was your thoughts on the Walsall game? Um, like Lee just said, after 10 minutes, we were like, oh, here we go. Um, and then I think I turned around to you, didn't I? Because you were on about going. I'm like, no, we're going to win it 3 2. And we did. <laughs> Happy days and Diane, well done for picking that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll put it this way. Shall I try to get three out of FIFA for tomorrow night? Go for yeah. it. Go for and it. Don't forget your pink cat. <laughs> <laughs> I did have my pink cat in the bag. Right, so you only yeah, need to carry it with you. Got Walsall. So I'm going to do a bit of a confession. Uh, so Callie knows, and I think uh, Bubbles knows as well, and Bubbles' sister. Uh, basically, we were two nil, losing two nil. Part of my mind was thinking, I'm going to go here. Can't be asked for this crap. Uh, Andy Cook scored, and then they hit the post. And I said to Callie in front of me, if that goal went gone in, if that shot what came off the post went in, I would have been gone. So I'm actually glad I'm stayed. We played brilliantly. Uh, we played crap in the first twenty minutes. Uh, Second half, fantastic. We're going to miss Jamie Walker, I think, Walsall game, but we'll go on to that in a minute. And I'm just glad Andy Cook got on the score sheet, scored against his former club. And did anybody else got anything they want to say on the Barrow game? Don't you mean Walsall? Sorry. I'll just say this to you, Johnny. I'll just say this to you, Johnny. Welcome to being a Bradford City fan. That's what it's like all the time, ever since I've supported them. Ups and downs, downs and ups. Yeah, so the Walsall game, has anyone got anything else to say on the Walsall game? Uh, Johnny, did, have you let them know what, what the... Um, we had a, a posh guy walk past us in a posh suit and um, the guy I was with, Stuart, mentioned, he went, that is a, that is a mint suit, mate. And he was actually one of the commentators. And You've been asking how to spell Oka Koka's yeah. name. And after about 15 minutes, he walked back and he went, can you just tell me how to pronounce this name here? And he pointed to Oka Koka. <laughs> so we all went all together, Oka Koka. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't know whether he... You should have got up and done the dance. Oh, yeah. No, the yeah, but we couldn't keep a straight face. So we couldn't. We? we just all started laughing, didn't we? Yeah. But it was quite a... Quite a nice little um, story to tell. <laughs> what right. one gripe I've got with that game just before we move on is what on earth was Tomkinson doing on the bench? Yeah, agree. Completely agree. You know, why? <laughs> just made no sense. He's one of the best defenders we've got, isn't he? And he to is. be fair, I don't think that second goal would have gone in if he'd have been on the pitch. I don't, because how you go, he'd have been on bench. Yeah. I think so. I, I, I don't know. I just thought, yeah, why on I earth is that. he on the bench? He should start every game. Every game. So. Well, we've got two games left. Let's hope he does. Absolutely. Newport's not an easy place to go. Somebody do me a favour and send the new link to, to uh, Chris. Because uh, I'm like saying, I'm trying this through my actual PC. 
It won't oh, let me messenger. through the messenger link. It won't let me go on that. I had to just go on to my normal Twitter account and just it came. It was at the top, and I joined it that way. Okay, right. Moving on to the Barrow game. Third time looking on the Barrow game. So Barrow versus Bradford City, seven forty-five tomorrow, twenty-third of April, twenty twenty-four, seven forty-five at the Salt Legal Stadium, and the referee is Ross Joyce. So, Mr. Joyce has been, he's had two appearances in the AFL Trophy. He's given out five yellow cards, no second yellows, no reds, and no penalties. He has dished out in League One, 17 appearances, 67 second yellows, three second yellows, one red card, two penalties. In League Two, he's had 15 appearances, 72 yellow cards, four second yellows, one sending off, and two penalties. Altogether, he's had 34 appearances, 143 yellow cards, seven, seven second yellows, two red cards, and four penalties. So tomorrow's game, there'll probably be a load of sending offs, a booking, and a penalty. And surprise, surprise, Tuesday night, we have got no team news, so hopefully the team will be the same. Barrow are currently six. They've played 44 games with goal difference of seven and 68. Bradford are currently 10th. And they've played 44 games, minus two goal difference, and 63 points. Down at the bottom, we've got Andy Cook, who scored 16 goals, 6 assists, and he's played 39 games. Whitfield has had 8 goals, 5 assists, and 34 matches played. And everyone's favourite part, the little bit of insight. So Barrow are ranked 15 goals. They've scored per match 1.5 goals. Haven't kept a clean sheet in six matches. Barrow have won the previous three matches against Bradford City. Bradford City are ranked 21st in goals. Scored per match 1.3 goals. Haven't lost in five matches. And they haven't scored nine goals in their last five games. I can't go over to Mr Parker because he's not done anything. So... so What's everybody's thoughts on that? But before we get everyone's thoughts on that, nice to see Chris, you've joined. Can you hear me, Chris? Can do, mate. And I've finally been able to get on once again, having problems with X. So what was your thoughts on the Walsall game, bud? Well, for what I thought Walsall game, as I've said, I went at that uh, 50th birthday party where everyone basically ignored me. I had four pints. And then I thought to myself, you know, what stuff this? I'm going back home. I'm putting it on my iFollow and I'm going to basically watch what I can. And I got literally last 10 minutes at game. But then it went on, didn't it? Because of um, extra time, etc. that went on for a, a dog's age. So I caught us actually playing well. So that, that basically for what I saw, I thought it were spot on. Couldn't ask for more. Okay, right. So starting with Georgia and going across, what is your thoughts on the Barrow game tomorrow? I just hope we get the results that we need. The ref might want to calm down with the cards and sending people off, hopefully. Um, and hopefully a little man as well. He might sit and watch it because, yes, I'm getting him out of school early. And yes, he's going. Okay, and... Miss Diane and Anne. I think it'll be a good if it's on. I'm not jinxing it, honest. <laughs> I think it will be on. Um, the referee can keep the cards in his pocket. Hopefully, with the team, we'll have to, don't forget, we'll have to change the formation. Hopefully, they'll start Gilead in midfield with Smallwood. And didn't Kelly go off injured on Saturday? So, yeah, he did. He did. Yeah. I think he took a knock, didn't he? Yeah, so hopefully he. Not that he's not playing, but if he isn't playing, you might put Tomkinson in defence. So that's my team that I think that will be some changes about. But like we say, we've got to get the points. Hopefully we get the points. Hopefully Colchester do us that favour down at Don for Donny at Colchester because they'll be wanting to stay up unless it's then they'll be go, going down to the door if sort of win. So hopefully we'll get the points and then bring on Saturday when it will be down to the last three, who's going to go do it? Chris? Can I just start by saying I, I do apologise because I've told you last week's game, not Walsall game, that I watched all the way through. <laughs> oh, are you, are you still drunk or something? I, just, I think to myself, no. is, is, he, is he? 
Uh, no, what it is is yeah. I've just had Friday and today. I've just had the worst days at work, but you don't know. You need to go into that on this message. Basically, I was checking me in, I thought, "What's going on here?" No, exactly. <laughs> I thought first half. I thought we played rubbish again. It was slow out of everywhere. We just weren't playing to what we can do. It was so bad yet again. I was texting Diane. I was texting you. I would, you know, this is ridiculous. And then we started playing. And once we started playing with first goal that went in, you just saw it all come alive. I mean, Jamie was just like a man possessed on Saturday. And to be fair, and you know, I didn't really like his sending off. I thought that referee was on their side, myself. Um, but yeah, I thought we played well enough in second half. Now, getting back to... What I think for tonight, I, I, I'm sort of agreeing with um, Diane, but I've put Kelly still in my team selection because I didn't think it was that bad a knock. Uh, I think we are going to win 3 2 because I think they'll be throwing everything at us. I think they'll probably score first as well and we'll just bring it back. Okay. Because we're always doing that first half, aren't we? We're always not right on it until we wake up. And DJ Lee, 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 Lee? Yeah. I think Barrow, I think we owe him big time. I think we're going to go up there and I think we're going to start fast out at blocks and maybe surprise them. Hopefully score two goals first and not let them back in the game. That's what I want to happen. Reality, it's going to be tough. Yeah. It's going to be tough. We're both two similar teams. We're both scrapping to uh, either get into playoffs or stay in playoff position at the minute. But we could still overtake Crawley. You know, it's just... It's there for us to get in. And I'm hoping six points, next two games, and let's, let's have a reasonable knock at it in playoffs. That's what I'm hoping. Crypto. And I've seen who we play in the playoffs if we win. MK Dons. Ah, we'll thrash them. <laughs> yeah, Crypto. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. So, what was your thoughts on the Walsall game and what's your prediction on the Barrow game? Well, first of all, I just want to say good evening to everybody. I hope everybody's well. <laughs> Um, I've just literally walked through the door, saw a notification come up on my phone, so that's why I've joined a little bit late, so I do send my apologies in advance. Uh, so, Walsall game, wow. 3-2, um, final score. Um, we were lucky, I think. Um, we played well, don't get me wrong, we played well in patches, um, but obviously I think Walsall will feel a little bit hard done to, especially towards the end where like, <laughs> it bounced off at post and Walker managed to like get it away. Uh, you know, towards the end. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the the Walsh game, I thought we played well in patches. Um, but to be fair, like, you know, what Walsh all came, you know, they, they wanted to give us a game and they did. Um, the Barrow game, um, I'm going to put my neck out line here and I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say, I've got a funny feeling, but it could be like 3 0 to say. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I know it's really optimistic. And stuff like that, but I've just got a funny feeling, you know what I mean? Um, and then obviously, you know, all hell could break loose on Friday, uh, on Saturday, comes it if if we do a number on uh, on Barrow tomorrow. But I've just got a question for everybody: What happens, right? And this is just hypothetical. What happens if the game gets called off? I asked this to the Lower League Look podcast yesterday, and possibly it'll get rearranged for like a Thursday. Possibly a Wednesday. But what happens if the get if their ground is still like in bad condition or like unplayable? Would it have to be moved to a neutral venue to be played? I think option one would be obviously being moved to a different venue, like uh, Halifax. There have been playing at and Stanley and other games, other yeah. grounds. Either that or Bradford City get awarded three points. How 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 would that work? How would we get awarded the three points just because Barrow can't put the game on? Yeah. I'm hoping that myself. They can't keep on doing that same thing, calling it off, calling it off, calling it off. Yeah. 
And it didn't help the today. Well, it mean, it'd mean them getting deducted points as well, would not it? Because and it's supposed to rain tomorrow, though, especially up that end of woods. Do you know what I mean? Again, again. Yeah. 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 So, so it's going to be interesting. But it's yeah, a rugby league. It, it, it's simple. They just reverse fixture and they'd play at Bradford instead. Yeah, uh, Callie. That's too easy for the football league. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the game tomorrow? I, I, I know it's the easy way, but I would feel like I'd be cheated a little bit if we if they just give us the points. I don't think I'd yeah. I'd prefer us to fight for it. I think, but it'd be I nice. Would. It'd be a nice easy way in, and then have to fight for everything at Newport. I'm I'm we on that one. Yeah, we need to play. I just feel like it's a bit of a cop out. Games off haven't traditionally done us any good at all. This no. Time, but it does feel like we, we we must be confident going into tomorrow night. All them players must be still buzzing from Saturday. There must be, especially the atmosphere and everything all all entwined into one. Um, I, I, I'm with um, Chris and everybody else. I think we're going to do it. I think that little bit of lady luck is on our side at the minute. Uh, it was on Saturday. It were there to play when they hit that crossbar. It were like yeah. This is going to be our game, even though them last 10, 15 minutes were proper squeaky bum time, wasn't it? It was, yeah. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. And I, I think, think we owe them, and I think the players won't absolutely. need much motivation to get out on that pitch and show them. Yeah. Here, Kelly, talking about luck, that was, that was well and truly <laughs> massive was, luck for it us. Was. It bounced off at Port and then bounced off at we were like, and my mum. And then came yeah. out with if Sam, my I mum. If we, I think we'd have, if we'd have had any other goalie in the net, I don't. I think that would have gone in. I, I think Definitely. Sam was. He was. Mm. I mean, yeah, he, he made two, two. That second blooper he made, he proper made up for that. I think and into. So yeah. bubble. Yeah, he did. Are we going to get into the playoffs? Yes or no? I'm optimistic. Yeah. I don't want I to say now because I feel like I might jinx it, but yeah, I'm still hoping. Okay, Diane, hundred percent. Yeah, I've even, I've even, I've been told that I'm being delusional at work that we can get into the playoffs. But well, that's my Huddersfield Town fan who lost four 0 so never mind that. But yeah, I think we could do it. Crypto, yeah. I'm getting. You won't believe the amount of stick I'm getting off Notts County fans and Notts Forest fans at work at the minute. <laughs> but oh, just say as much as I get. <laughs> just say to Notts Forest. Mm, are you still moaning about VAR yesterday against yeah. Everton? Yeah, I did that last night. It was funny. Chris, do you think we get to playoffs? It's a big yes from me. Okay, and DJ Lee 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 Lee. Come on, City, you can do it, you can be and cue it. And oh, also come on. For people who have just joined on TikTok, YouTube and other social sites, I've put myself in a bit of a stupid situation. If Bradford City do get into the playoffs, I'm dying my hair red. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know, I'll probably go to Diane's or Cali to get that done. It's not, Johnny, it's not just red, it's Claret and Amber. That's, we're going the whole hog. In the whole hog. Oh, the hair yeah. dye is oh, ready. In the whole hog. <laughs> I'll, have, I'll have to grow my hair. Fingernails, toenails. So I can help with the fingernails if that helps. So we've had a couple of TikToks coming. Uh, we've had Kevin on TikTok. Uh, basically, I want to ask you guys about the playoffs. He's put, nope, Newport will beat us at home. Okay, right. Uh, oh, score predictions. So, Georgia, score predictions for tomorrow. Um, uh, I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm optimistic. I've said to Diane, um, I'm thinking about a 2-1 to City. What does little man say? He'll just keep saying 2-0. He's too optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> Diane? Oh, great. Put me on the spot to try to get three out of three tomorrow. Um, yeah. Come on then, Diane. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm just... Come on, what are you going to say? I've got it in my head. What I'm I was supposed to say that. I'm gonna say yeah, I'm go gonna on. say three one to us. Oh thank god. <laughs> Crypto. Three nil at say. Chris. Three two at say. Lee. 
Got to be 3 0, I agree with Crypto all day long. I've just got the same feeling. Miss Kelly? I'm going to go. I'm not going to say it same as everybody else. I'm going to go for a 4 2 win to us. I think we're going to do a Chelsea. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so, we, so we are live on X and other social sites. Uh, we've had Steve Mundy again uh, on a Monday. I always like saying that line. A big yes from me as well. Beat Barrow tomorrow, then get a result versus Newport in City's hands. So let's quickly fly over to TikTok where we've had Samuel say a 2 1 City. We've had Haru who says 3 2 City. Uh, G Kitson 1 0. Yep, and then Samuel again. So, TikTok, keep your score predictions coming in and also questions for the panel. And also, YouTube as well. I know you're watching on YouTube and Facebook. Get your questions in, score predictions in. And Miss Callie's got a hand up again. Yes, Miss Callie? Yeah, I just want to add obviously, if we do get through tomorrow night, it's last home game at season, isn't it, on Saturday? Yep. So, we're going to, it's going to, surely it's got to be packed. Because we do the memorial, don't we, on the pitch as well this Saturday. So we should have a good crowd in there to proper get behind them lads and cheer them on, hopefully. I agree with you there, Callie. If we somehow, some miracle beat Barrow, yeah, even if it's 1-0 or we we'll beat them, that ground's probably going to be packed out and then there'll be a few people saying, why didn't I renew my season ticket? Cause yeah, I don't I know about... I don't know about you lot, but with obviously Carlisle now being relegated, uh, Harry Lewis is coming back to Bradford City if we don't go up this league. Tee -hee, tee -hee. Yeah, but I would just love. I would honestly. Who's, I would, who's coming back to Bradford? I, I would. I'm sounding yeah, like. Uh, so I'm going to do a, a do a line from a famous football slash manager, Kevin Keegan. I would absolutely love it if Bradford beat Barrow tomorrow. And then also beat Newport and other teams go our way. Don't so, forget, we've got to get Colchester doing us that favour tomorrow night. Yeah, miracles do happen. Right. Uh, just quickly check any more things. If, uh, if Colchester lose tomorrow, we've still got a chance. Yeah, we have. Because if we win as well, that's one good thing. Well, yeah, but I mean, like we'll, we'll still close in on Crawley. We'll we'll end up if we win them both sixty nine points. Don't think Crawley can reach that. That's a good number. That it's only though that's our problem, isn't it? Because they've got the same game in hands over like what we've got, and they're above us with a lot better goal difference as well. And there it is. That's as good as it gets on this stage. Nissan Townstar EV strikes again. It's an unstoppable van. Unstoppable. Look, just fantastic. You can actually see the ProPilot technology in action. Effortless parallel parking. It moves with all the confidence that comes with a five-year warranty. And with a bench full of all-star van experts, there's real strength in depth here. That's all-star quality. Search Nissan Townstar EV and visit your local all-star van centre to see for yourself. Terms and conditions apply. Five years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. ProPilot is an advanced driver assist technology. Driver's responsibility to stay alert, drive safely and control vehicle at all times. Away days are great, but there's nothing quite like playing at home. The same goes for McDonald's. Maximise your home advantage with McDelivery. You in? Order now on the McDonald's app. At participating restaurants, 18 plus... Serving times, delivery fee, and terms apply. See McDonald's.com. So, if, if they carry on the same as us, then we can't. But I'm thinking Colchester have seriously got to put a, a day in. And they're fighting for the life because they don't know where they're going to be. If they get to the last game of the season and they go and lose, they're down. That's it. So, moving on. Uh, starting off with Georgia and then moving away across. Do you want to chat about, vent about, speak about anything, Georgia? No. All right. Diane? No, let's just hope the lads carry on where they, le where they finished on Saturday against Walsall. But hopefully we'll keep 11 men on the pitch this time. Crypto? No, no. Um... Like I say, let's just see how tomorrow goes and then take it from there, isn't it? Fingers crossed, you know what I mean? Game's on and we're putting a performance. And then, like you say, come Saturday, 
the you know the crowd uh, the ground should be absolutely bouncing you know should be you know rocking you know like old times like it used to be back in there oh yeah and uh chris this last game of the season is uh, a big old north parade day isn't it 12 o'clock try fight if you <laughs> fight your way into any bar going have a nice couple of drinks before the game and stay stay good, all what, of you. What time kick off? Don't be getting it too Seven much. forty-five tomorrow. No, no, I mean um, on Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday. Oh, three o'clock. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's three hours of drinking. I know. Yeah, right absolutely. Right. Proper go. <laughs> and then that ground will be absolutely I bouncing. Are you the only thing going to chat about, vent about, speak about, vent about? I just hope that if we're missing Jamie, he puts Gilead in midfield. I think that's a logical thing to do. I get Pattis, get yeah. Pat, uh, what they call him, Tomkinson in that defence. Do we? Do we know? That, that's what you'd think he'd do. That's what I'd do. But it is Alexander. Yeah, I know. I know. Do we know if Walker is definitely not playing? Have we had confirmation yet? Well, he was sent off, wasn't he? Yeah. I don't think he should have been sent off. That would have been my vote. game missed, didn't it? Mm. That referee were definitely biased. He was. He was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, one of them. So, <laughs> sorry, if you want, want to chat about, vent about anything, Callie Love? No, I just hope we... I, it's like we were talking about last Friday night. It just feels... It feels right, and I don't. I can't put me sort of. I can't put my words on it. I can't explain it properly, but it just feels like we've got that glimmer of hope. So I just want to touch on a little bit of news from the National League. Uh, so Gates Head basically have been kicked out of the National League playoffs due to their ground and not getting a, a ten-year like uh, lease from the council. I just want to get people's thoughts on that, first of all. Uh, so, Dan, uh, I saw that. Roger They're Lund fighting it. Um, I, I don't know. This, I feel sorry for Gateshead because they were looking forward to it, to it clearly, but it's got a lot of facts now, hasn't it? So, it's one of them. I don't know what to say. <clears throat> Who's got, who's got bingo going on in background? I know, I'm just thinking oh, it's, that. It's house for... <laughs> yeah. um, what it is, is that now I saw a statement on Twitter from Halifax Town yesterday after the Gates said fiasco. Halifax are meant to be playing Altrincham, but now they're playing Solihull Malls. So I don't know if Altrincham have now got the buy instead or anything, but Halifax just made the playoffs. So Gates said we're sixth. But it had been the gates of stadium was not too bad. It was the council, so yeah, like I say, the fixtures have all changed now. So, like I said, they were meant, like I said, they were meant to play in um, Altrincham. So I don't know if Altrincham's got the buy because they finished higher or what. Yeah, they can't just give them a buy, can they? If they've knocked them out, then whoever were in eighth place yeah. or seventh no, place, they're not whatever doing it that. is. Yeah, up. they're not doing. What I'll do is let me go on take league table. Oh, well, let this me look is FA messing about again. Let me look at fixtures. They've, actually, they've actually said they're giving him a buy. Yeah, they're giving him a buy, Chris. They're giving him a freebie. Are they? They've clicked, uh, kicked him out, and they're giving him a buy. Yeah, it was all Hull Moors that, that were meant to get the buy, but I think it's now altering them. Oh, this is why I hate the national league. It should just be three up and three, three up and three down. I'll have a look. Yeah. Uh, crypto. Thank you. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but it used to be that if your ground went up to spec, you had so long to get it up to the minimum spec. That's how That's it used, how to, it be used to be, yeah. I thought it's it was the, the I think the issue with this league is with the council. The council are not basically going to support them. Wow. I think that's how it's come, come a loss, really. The council are not yeah. supporting them. The council own them, then? Yeah. They don't ground, do So, yeah, right, I can understand that. Then. Right, I've just had a look at the fixtures for tomorrow night. Altering, it was my altering gun that we went to play against, said, but that's now postponed. Like I say, Wednesday night, it's Solihull Moors against FC Halifax Town. Yeah. Was so it Altering who've got the bye? Or is it Sunny Moors? 
it was meant to be Solihull Moors because they were meant to be playing Gateshead. But I think because Altrincham finished higher, they've got the buy instead. Do you want me to have a look and see where Altrincham finished in table? Yeah, because I swear I've just seen it. I've just seen a story. Well, on a, I think it's from the fan somewhere. Uh, so Chris or oh, Crypto, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I'm listening. So, what's your thoughts on the National League situation? Um, I feel a little bit sorry for Gates said that the council have let him down. However, I'm not too fussed about it for being honest because uh, Halifax, so I've, I've got a soft spot for them, like my second favourite team in in UK. Yeah. So. I've got a soft spot, you know, through all like previous players and you know what I mean and stuff like that. So, and to be fair, like Halifax, if they were to if they were to get into the league and stuff like that, you know what I mean? They they ain't got a bad record against us, you know. <laughs> so but yeah, I'm I'll be rooting for Halifax tomorrow. I remember going to Halifax when they were nearly going out of business to uh, a load of city fans went over to give them a bit of extra money. Yeah, that's what I mean. We've, we've. I think we've, you know, as a club, we've got close ties with Halifax. Yeah. I don't think you know the younger generation realise that. You know, some of the younger supporters, I don't think they realise that. But you know, City and Halifax are quite close. Yeah, and uh, Chris. Yeah, I think it's wrong what they've done with Gate said. They, they should have been given time. You know, they, they, if if they've looked after them all this time, all this season, they can't just pull out, pull out legally, can they? It's, if they're, if they're owned by the council, they can't just pull out. They've got to give them some sort of time. Yeah, I don't I don't understand it how they can just go. Well, how like how, how much time off. did they give Coventry when they didn't even have a ground? You know, and other teams, Wimbledon. Got split into two teams. So I've just yeah. found something on uh, fan banter. Uh, the, they're normally pretty good. I'll go to you in a minute, Diane Love. Uh, so under the rules, the club cannot be replaced and they're removed from the planned fixture on Tuesday, the 23rd of April, 2024. The outcome of this is that Altrincham will now get a bye to the semi-finals, not Sunny Hill. So update, Eliminator A, Wednesday the 28th, is going to be Sunny Hill Moors versus Halifax Town, 7pm. Semi final with Barnett slash Sunny Hill versus Halifax Town at 5 30. Then it's going to be Bromley Atrium and then a promotional final on Sunday, the 5th of May at 3 pm. Miss Diane, you got your hand up, love? Yeah, Old has got the bye because they finished fourth. That's why they've got the bye. They finished higher up the league. I told you yeah. we're looking at tables. Yeah. Miss Kelly, you got your hand up still? Uh, no, I didn't put it back up. It must have stayed up. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's a bit it's a bit um, below the belt. I think they, I mean, the council surely the council if they manage to get into League Two, surely the council are going to lose money. I would have thought from gaining up a league, etc. Surely it's going to bring more fans in and more money for the ground. But yeah, yeah I, I, but it's nice it's nice that a York, another Yorkshire team has managed to sneak in. Anybody else want to rant about, chat about, vent about anything? Okay. Uh, so, Georgia. Start with Georgia. And then we'll work across, because I'm going to disappear for two seconds. What's on your plate, George? What have you had for your tea? I don't know yet, because I haven't decided what I'm having to eat. But I've got to eat, because otherwise I get told off. <laughs> so, I'm going to have a look soon. Well, while it's quiet, I'll have uh, I'm having chicken curry. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous! Oh, yeah. By yourself, oh. Dale? Have you? Have, have I, you had your tea? What I've had is a lamb and mint burger bought by my dad again from Butchers with some potatoes cut in, done in the air fryer and some baked beans because I've not been feeling too good today. So again, so that's what I've had because I can't be bothered to do salad because it's too cold. Chris, strong bow. <laughs> Dinner, tea of champions exactly mate and DJ Lee Mr Lee 
Callie? <laughs> I think Lee's gone to have his tea. <laughs> Um, oh, I, I just got up, so it's bre it's brekkie for me. So I've had a bacon sandwich for me for mine. Brown sauce, I, red sauce, I had, sauce, yellow sauce. I had Brown. chicken balls, pasta, and Chinese curry sauce. It was gorgeous. And I had, uh, I think, homemade. Homemade, ours were homemade. Homemade pie. Homemade pie. <coughs> right. <clears throat> so, George, are you going to the game tomorrow? I am. Diane? I am, I am, I am. Unfortunately, no. I'm going to listen on top radio because I can't really take time off work at the moment. Even though I could tell them where to go with the job, but I'm not. So? Crypto? Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Um, I'll be watching it on the, uh, on the TV. Okay. Christina? Hi, I'm on I follow, mate. Due to the fact that I can't get to the ground up from where I work and trying to get anywhere after that, no way. Lee, are you watching on iFollow, bud? I'll be watching it on iFollow, but I'll be there with you all in spirit. And Miss Kelly, will you be listening to it at work? Yeah, I'll have iFollow on with my headphones in at work. So I've got to help any customers if they're still in that, that time tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because everybody moaned at me last podcast. Here's the weather forecast for Tuesday. The sun will rise at 5.43 a.m. And the sun will set at eight minutes pa uh, 10 minutes past 8. And surprise, surprise, in Barrow, it's going to be a bit rainy. So hopefully the game is on. Yeah. Hopefully there's no pitch inspection. And... There will be. So hopefully the sun will eventually appear. It looks like it's going to be between 6 and 9 degrees temperature-wise. And before we do disappear, is anyone else they've got anything they want to chat about? Let's hope that that referee's wife doesn't ring him up 10 minutes before kick-off. I need you to come home, find a piece of grass that's not put in the ground properly. Yeah. There's a bit bit of here. grass here in corner. It's going to affect corners, no it isn't. Right. We looked at that pitch and it looked spot on for that first debacle when you all went up there. Okay. Right. So, everyone, thank you for coming along today. The podcast will return again Friday at 6pm live on all podcast services. If you do like and uh, if you like what you're hearing and watching, give us a follow on TikTok and YouTube. That's Bradford City or Chickens on the Loose. Also, we have got a small Facebook page, uh, Up the Chickens on Facebook, where you can do Super Six every season and Golden Goal every match day. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. And I'm going back to that line, what Chris always says. Come on, Siri! Don't forget to play us. And I really want to die in my air, Clara and Amber. Have a good night. And there it is, that's as good as it gets on this stage. Nissan Townstar EV strikes again. It's an unstoppable van, unstoppable. Look, just fantastic. You can actually see the Pro Pilot technology in action. Effortless parallel parking. It moves with all the confidence that comes with a five year warranty. And with a bench full of all star van experts, there's real strength in depth here. That's all star quality. Search Nissan Townstar EV and visit your local all star van center to see for yourself. Terms and conditions apply. Five years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. ProPilot is an advanced driver assist technology. Driver's responsibility to stay alert, drive safely, and control vehicle at all times. This podcast is proud to be part of the TalkSport Fan Network. TalkSport. Powered by fans.